Hi beautiful people of the internet, I just did costume figure drawing with Kirk Shimoto. Here is a video about it. Okay, so here are some before images. And I have no idea how to do costume, as you can tell. I'm pointing because I know that I have no idea how to do costume drawings. It doesn't even look like I'm trying, because I don't even know how to try. And here are some drawings from after Kirk's class, and yes, I know it is a costume figure drawing, so we didn't really learn to draw the nude figure, but I still made improvements nonetheless. Yeah, this one looks cool. And here's one of the week's homework that I did that's digital. Huge improvement over what I could ever do before. All right, so the fastest way for me to explain what I learned is if we went through the homework. Okay, week by week breakdown. So I understand week one as drawing in 2D. You can see all the figures I do, I'm just trying to capture the gesture and work in 2D. What does 2D gesture mean? Well, for example, we have this dude over here and Kirk starts his figures with uh, this pillow shape, adds the pillow, adds the, um, I'm drawing with a mouse, and then just does a straight line like this. So with my initial lay in here, again, just think about the the action of the pose. We have this sort of stretch and pinch idea going on, and you might have heard of maybe like the bean. And I mean, this bean or pillow idea is not new. Look at all these videos by Progo. How to simplify the motion of the torso. The bean. More beans. Anyway, let's get to week two. In the second week, we added bony landmarks and continued drawing the figure. So you can see in my week two drawings, this indication of rope cage, pelvis, and direction of the limbs. There's even indication of the scapulas. For me personally, this week really made the figure feel more solid and three-dimensional. And we can set up a rough idea of where his rib cage is. In week three, we started doing costume, but we didn't do any folds. And while I could continue explaining what we did week by week in the class, I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you wanna know more, just let me know or take the class. But overall, Kirk's class gave me a good approach on how to draw costumes. It's three hours, um, half of it is usually critique, the other half is lecture, all pre-recorded so you can do it in your own time or whatever time zone you are in. Any questions, let me know. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. Good night guys, peace.